better format. You know, I'm going to read each, each prospect now and kind of describe uh, to you uh, his fit. Uh, greatest number one prospect in the country. Uh, consensus five-star recruit. A 2013-2014 uh, Gator Player of the Year in Louisiana. USA Today Office Player of the Year. The Under Armour All-American Game Participant. Uh, ran for 1,800 yards, 16 touchdowns, caught 45 passes for 745 yards, six touchdowns as a senior. Uh, possesses great power and speed and vision and uh, catches the ball well out of the backfield. And certainly a person in Harris, a uh, Parkway High School, six foot, 385 pound from Bossier City, Louisiana, rated as the one of the top quarterbacks in the country. I think he was the uh, all prospect 34th prospect in the country, um, a, uh, a, a, uh, a quarterback that, um, that threw 178 times for 329, uh, excuse me, threw uh, 329 times for 178 completions, uh, 3,100 uh, yards, 34 touchdowns, rushed for 1,048 yards, 15 touchdowns, got great arm velocity and great speed. Will, will really challenge defenses vertically down the field and have the ability to race. Rated the number one wide receiver in the country, consensus five-star recruit. Played in the all-star games, um, 34 catches for 607 yards, six touchdowns. Um, just a tremendously capable athlete. A long jumper, triple jumper, high jump state champion. Very explosive, great uh, speed for his size. Great catching radius has the ability to control it into a ball, and uh, uh, just a tremendous. I think the country gets smaller. I think it's smaller with technology. I think it's smaller with iPads and TV and phones that are computer driven. And I have a uh, a, uh, a prospect that who's currently on our campus and going to school. So I guess that he would be then our an LSU Tiger. And he said to me here, Coach. I want you to talk to Trey L. And he handed me his phone, and he was FaceTiming Trey L. And I could see this little square in the corner that was me and this big, happy, smiling Trey um, there. And I could tell him that you know that we were closer, and that this was easy, and that we might try it again. Except that I made the the observation that it was me he was looking at, and that had to be painful. So I may kind of FaceTime one way if I can, and uh, so that I can, but my point is, is uh, that's what's going on today. You know, t today the, the uh, planes seem to fly more efficiently, the travel seems to be easier. The, uh, uh, I, think that, I think this country is smaller and it continues to, to shrink, and I think that the opportunity to play at best programs, the opportunity to play at places that you're being played as a freshman, the place that will make sure that you get your degree, the place that will um, allow you to show your skills and abilities in, in the NFL. Those places have advantages, and those were the, that's where the players want to go. They realize, you know what? They play a style of football there at LSU that sends guys to the NFL. It just happens. Is, is LSU attractive to people in – Really, every state, and I think absolutely that's true. And uh, I think the the, uh, the success that's been had over time here has you know, made our uniform more recognizable, made our school um, more uh, an opportunity to attend. And uh, and yes, I, if you you mentioned brand, I think that there's that LSU is becoming, and and has always been, but is becoming more. Marketable. The uh, I have, but I, I don't. I think it fails to compare. Um, I think that uh, um, what he's got to do is all the things that made him successful in his high school and growing up. He's got to continue to do, and that's something that you can't imagine that he would not continue to do. And that's just work hard, just apply his trade, because um, there, there's definitely a a uh, you know, some transition that will take place. And, uh, but he has all the natural skill and ability that there is.
years, and I think expectations for guys like him are good. You know, it's he'd be miserable if somebody didn't have expectations that he'd have a great freshman year. He'd be miserable. It, uh, so, but again, you know, let's not put the cart in front of the horse. It's all about you know taking it day to day and working hard and preparing. And as long as he does that, he'll be fine.